Okay, the fourth furnishing is the menorah, and now we're at the fourth assembly, or ecclesia, which is Thyatira. So remember the background information on Thyatira, um, or the fourth furnishing, the menorah. It's the eyes of the body. It's the uh, vision, the prophecy. Uh, gift it's the fourth day of creation the celestial bodies sun stars moon etc and we also said that or I said that <laughs> the menorah represents the tree of the knowledge of good and evil of which the woman partook of so if we look at Thyatira, it says, uh, this is chapter 2, verse 18. It says, And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, write these things, saith the Son of God. Remember that 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 is used here. Who has his eyes like unto a flame of fire. So here we are at the menorah that represents the eyes of the body. And his feet are like fine brass. Remember the brass is out in the courtyard, the judgment area. I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works. Um... So, you know, this is the Jezebel um, assembly that has the woman who teaches. She calls herself a prophetess, so we have prophecy here. She teaches and seduces my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Here we have that again. Remember, the parallel assembly is Pergamos because the table sits across from the menorah. And I gave her space, that's time, and the fourth day of creation, tree of the knowledge of good and evil, time. Behold, I will cast her into the bed, into a bed, and men, them that commit adultery with her, into great tribulation. It talks about killing her children with death, so that the rest of the assemblies will know that it's he who searches the hearts. And the minds, or this version says the reins. Okay, so what do we have here about the um, overcomers? Go down to the very last verse about the assembly. It's verse 28. They're given the morning star. Fourth day of creation, we have the stars. We can go through this. It's This is a very long uh, paragraph about Thyatira. But I'm just giving a real short um, teaching on it right now. So that you can understand and go through it yourself. The fourth seal is the fourth beast that has the face of an eagle. And it says, come and see. This is the pale horse. Some say green. And it represents death and hell. And power was given unto them over one fourth. So we have four. We're at the fourth furnishing, the fourth seal, the fourth assembly. 
one fourth of the earth to kill with four different things the sword hunger death and the beast of the earth now those are found in you know all throughout the Tanakh the Bible those four different ways that judgment was meted out it was either by the sword or famine uh, death or wild beast okay the fourth trump Revelation 8, verse 12. The fourth angel blew his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars. We're at the menorah. We're at the fourth day of creation, so that a third of their light might be darkened, and a third of the day might be kept from shining, and likewise a third of the night. Then I looked, and I heard, now this version says an eagle, but I I know some versions say an angel crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead. Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth and at the blast of the other trumpet that the three angels are about to blow. So here we are at the fourth trump. We're at the menorah. So the next trumps are going to be the altar of incense, the Ark of the Covenant, and then the seventh trump. Um, the fourth bowl. The fourth angel poured out his, this is chapter 16. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. So again, we're dealing with the fourth day of creation, and it's the sun. This time, there's a direct effect on the people. They're scorched with fire by, by the, the heat of the sun. They were scorched by the fierce heat, and they cursed the name of God who had power over these plagues. They did not repent and give him glory. So, Thyatira, the fourth ecclesia, fourth assembly, Fourth day of creation. You see all the connections. Thank you. We'll go on to the next Ecclesia.